This is an update on my crossword puzzle program. Uh, the part of the program that generates the puzzle is in Java. And right now I have this many words in my database and I really need to add a few thousand to get started. I'm adding a few a day and it takes a while because for each word that I add, I'm adding categories and I'm adding multiple clues as well as some other information. Okay, so now the first thing you would do inside this program is do number one, select the puzzle size and type. And I've kind of been focusing on these mini sizes right here. The micro sizes I was just kind of doing for experimentation. And so I'm going to do number seven, the seven by seven. And so what I'm doing is categorizing these by the number of black squares. So for example, 12 through 13 black squares, 12, that 12A, that means this puzzle has 12 black squares, and those are denoted by the X's, uh, whereas the white squares are the dots right here. Okay, and so I'll just go ahead and select this 24A, this one right here. Okay, and so this tells me, okay, well, that puzzle pattern right there has 25 white squares, 24 black squares, 14 words. Now, the theme, I can add a theme right here, and so... Uh, you know, again, this is kind of experimental to see if um, what it does is prioritize the words in that theme. So if you select animals, it will prioritize those words. But honestly, on a puzzle this size, I'm only getting one or two words out of the theme. So, you know, it's experimental to see how that works. Okay, so now um, I'm going to go ahead and do the generate puzzle. And so this one comes at back really fast. Database penetration is only 0.3%. Um, now, this is what it's doing right here. And this is part of my database. Like the word you and use, uh, they're listed as possible excluded words. I'm not excluding them automatically when it generates the program, but it's for you know you to look at and say, oh, do I want to have a puzzle with both those words in there and probably don't. So I'll just go generate another one. Okay. So this one doesn't have any excluded words. I also have diff uh, words that I consider difficult that require very specific knowledge of something. And so that's just kind of a judgment call. So it will list if any of those are in there. So, you know, you might want to have one or two difficult words in your puzzle to make it interesting. Okay. And so now, uh, after you've generated a puzzle and you like it, then you can come over here to option E to generate all clues. And so now you can look at the clues. You can regenerate all the clues or just generate one specific clue if you want to change it. And um, so then once you're ready, once you're done with this, happy with this, then you can export it to a JavaScript uh, file right here. Now, eventually I would like to have an SQL database where all of these puzzles go into. But for now, this is working pretty easy to export uh, just the, the actual puzzle, the variables that make up the puzzle to that. Okay, so now let's look at my web interface. And so the web interface, you can go to this mypccourse.com slash crossword and try out these puzzles. And so, you know, eventually I'd like to have daily puzzles of different sizes to put up there. So I just put up 10 of them just to try out. So I'll click on this one right here. And I'm kind of doing a school thing where you get a grade. And eventually I'd like to have two difficulty le uh, levels. Uh, like right now, if you type an incorrect letter, well, first of all, you lose points. But also it's showing it in red. So if you type a correct letter, then it will show it in black. So Superman symbol, of course, is S. Okay, and um, and so, and then on the easier difficulty level, you can get some free random letters. I'll click on one, there's one, there's two, there's three free random letters. Uh, then you can cheat a letter, but that's gonna cost you in points if you go to cheating the letters. Okay, so of course I've got a, I've got to finish this up, right? Uh, tiny Tiff. I don't know. Uh, overhead Trains, L's, uh, Equinox Month, 
September. Uh, blacken in a pan is sear. Uh, attribute is a trait. And uh, eight in Acapulco. Ocho. And always is it E-E-R? Yeah. Perceive C. And so then if you finish, you'll get your grade. Uh, and that's about it. So anyway, um, hope you have a great day.